don't forget to check out my Patreon where you can get exclusive access to all my picks and all my trades before they hit the market and before they hit YouTube. Welcome back to another video on the Finance Value Guy. And in today's video, I want to talk about something very interesting going on in the Bitcoin and Shiba Inu charts. Two major, major charts, okay, that I've realized. I've literally been analyzing the charts for a couple of hours and I do this because it's fun, guys. It's interesting. Maybe I'm a nerd, who knows? But um, <laughs> today we're going to be talking about Shiba Inu because honestly, I published a chart a couple of days ago to the private Patreon. And so far, it's been holding up. Now, you guys know that I always have two charts, okay? I have one chart, okay, that is usually on the four hour. Then, um, that was a bad highlight, but I have one chart that's on the four hour. Then, usually, I'll have another one that is on the daily. So, I'll switch it to like the daily time frame, or I'll switch it to like the eight hour time frame or 12 hour time frame so I can get the most accurate reading. If you don't know why, it's basically the longer the time frame is on the chart, the more accurate the prediction. Um, if that makes sense. So looking at a 15 minute chart, um, you know, you, you, and if you predict what's going to happen next, the effect is only going to last 15 minutes. That's why we do the longer time frame chart. So the one that most people use is the four hour chart, but this one, let me go and check my charts. I do believe this was probably eight hours. Um, let me go ahead and check. This is yeah, the eight hour chart. So I published a chart on April the 2nd, and I do believe, okay, that everyone needs to see this simply because um, I'm pretty sure that what I found is, I don't want to say groundbreaking, but it's pretty interesting, okay? And I'm pretty sure it gives us a nice insight as to where Shiba Inu is going. So, um, as you guys can see here, there are three main parts of this. Okay, it's four main parts. We're going to identify all parts. I'm going to break this down so it's really simple to understand. So, this chart, chart goes back from... January, okay, so essentially December, okay. Now this chart shows us that we've been technically um, not in a downtrend, but in a huge wedge, okay. Now if you don't know what symmetrical wedges are, basically symmetrical wedges. I'm gonna get a picture from Google right now. Okay, so symmetrical wedge pattern is something like this, as you guys can see. So symmetrical triangle, symmetrical wedge. Um, there's many different variations. I, I hate these ads. Um, so yeah, as you guys can see, this is is this is what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna copy this. So that when we go into chart, we can paste it. Um, and this shows us, okay, that near the ending of the area. Okay, let me just change the color. Near the ending of the area, basically, what tends to happen is we tend to have a break up to the upside or break up to the downside. Okay, so that is what we're having. So, um, essentially, as you guys can see right here, um, this is what we've been having since the 25th of December. Now, I didn't realize this. Okay, I thought there was a different pattern going on. There's always different ways you can look at the charts, but the point is, is that currently. Where we are right now looks like we could be headed back to 23 cents. Now, um, this is based on the simple pattern, okay? Since we're basically in like a downtrend, as you guys can see, um, we have this blue area here, this light blue area here, where we come and touch the yellow line, all the way have the red line resistance come down to this yellow area um, on the green support and then bounce up. And then we literally just repeat it again, guys. So come down to the yellow area, bounce up, hit the yellow resistance line and come all the way down. So um, as you guys can see, it's literally just one, hit the resistance to go to the yellow area and green line, and then just literally the same, okay? So if history is going to repeat itself, at least we know that the next time Shiba Inu enters this yellow box, okay, we're going to be buying loads, okay? Because the last time Shiba Inu entered this yellow area right here, um, it, it pumped significantly. So the reason I think this is super interesting is also because if we look at exactly what happened, okay, you guys can see that it's pretty much the same. So for example, look at this, okay? So before we touch this yellow line, we have, okay, I'm going to show you guys exactly why, we have a symmetrical triangle right here. It's very hard to see, but we have support. Then we have resistance. And as you guys can see, symmetrical triangle break down all the way down. Um, and you keep going down. And as you guys can see right here, all the way at the top, we have once again a symmetrical triangle. And of course, you guys can see the symmetrical triangle there break down all the way down. And then of course, you guys can see once again here at the red line, once again, another symmetrical triangle. And then of course, that breakdown followed. Okay. So it looks like what we have is just, you know, you come up here. You have a symmetrical triangle and then we break down to the yellow area of support and then we have that continuation. Now, the only thing is, is that we don't know where this is going to go based on um, what Bitcoin does. Because, of course, if Bitcoin starts to break out, Shiba Inu could actually break up and out of this wedge. Now, this is the biggest pattern we will have um, since probably since October 2021. That is honestly what we will have. Okay. So I would say that currently we need to make sure that um, we're paying attention to this chart because this is most certainly, I promise you guys, the biggest chart that, that, that we're going to be looking at for Shiba Inu because um, there's there's not really much else that is um, developing the charts other than this. So I would say that based on previous projections, I expect Shiba Inu to get back into this yellow box, which means over the next couple of days, um, and I'm going to explain everything, over the next couple of days, a 15% decline. Now, if Shiba Inu hits this area here, that's going to be really good because it means that this is going to be the buy zone right here. And that's where we're going to be, you know, expected to at least pump up here, um, at least a nice percentage to, um, yeah, at least a like 16, 80% pump. 
um, just right to that 18% pump. So yeah, the thing is, is that once we got started to get into this area, this is the danger zone because um, we don't know what's going to happen. See, um, symmetrical wedges, what can happen is they can either break up or they can either break down. So um, we have to be super duper careful um, at this area because, you know, anything is possible. So um, I would say that based on the probabilities, you know, where Bitcoin is right now, Bitcoin is super interesting. If you're wondering what I'm looking at right now, guys, I am looking at Bitcoin's um, what chart is this? This is the 12 hour chart. So as you guys can see on the 12 hourly chart, I'm going to post some of this stuff. Let's go over here. Um, where is it? 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 Uh, I need to find the circle or an arrow or something. Okay. So we're going to just do the support line. So support here, um, supported here. Uh, we also got supported like here. So as you guys can see, this support line is it's been held since March. Okay, so um yeah, you know since since pretty much not 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 just a month, but like it's 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 doing pretty well. Okay, now of course as you guys can see. Remember the purple area is the the bullish resistance. Okay, so if you didn't know what that means, basically this was the line that we needed to get over. Okay. And we just haven't. Okay, this line goes all the way back to like 2020. And this line is a very, very important line that we need to break. Okay, so understand that this purple line is a very, very important resistance line that we have to stay above if we want to continue this bull market scenario. So as you guys can see, the crazy thing here, okay, is that it looks like we're about on the 12 hourly chart, okay, at this nice um, nice end of the symmetrical wedge. So as you guys can see right here, um, you guys can see that we look like we are about to break upwards. Now, I could be wrong. Um, you know, we could break down, but just on the 12 hourly chart, you guys can see that we have support, 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 resistance, resistance. And of course, like I said before, if I hit control V, as you guys can see, symmetrical triangles, um, it, it looks like it's probably going to break up. Okay. okay. Just based on what we've seen before. Now, I don't know that for hundred percent, we could break down, but just on a 12 hourly chart, it looks like this is holding up. So even on a four hourly, um, it does look like what we have is a fake out to the downside. And then we could be potentially heading up, but all you guys need to know is that as long as Bitcoin holds this $45,000 area, things are going to be good. This retest of this area is good because it shows us um, that we get rejected and we're getting supported by this area. And that means that SHIB is likely to break up here. So if Bitcoin decides to basically boost above here and break through this level, okay, that would be absolutely bullish. And what's even better, guys, is that um, it would mean that, you know, SHIB Inu would be breaking up out of the symmetrical wedge. And honestly, the price target would be absolutely insane. We could definitely double, guys. So, um, yeah, I'm just watching to see what happens now because we're basically at the end of this wedge. So the next place that we go is going to be important. Now, I want to show you guys also, um, someone made a video, Alicia Rastani. I, I told you guys about this channel. Um, Rastani did make a video. I can't find the exact one, but if I do find it, I will link it. But the point is that he's making is that if we go to the weekly chart of Bitcoin, okay, and we look at the 200-day um moving average you guys can see i think it's a 200 day sma or the 200 week sma um you guys can see that what we have is 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 not good okay we have in fact can i make this thicker um let me see if i can make this thicker i don't know if i can i don't know what's going on um okay there we go we can make this a lot thicker okay so you guys can see this blue line right here um, i'm gonna make this orange or yellow because this visibility is so poor okay so as you guys can see this yellow line right here is a 200 day sma now basically this is a very very important line because this is like what a lot of people use to gauge whether or not we're in a bull market or not um and the problem is, is that we've we've dropped below this line. And as you guys can see, we came up and got rejected by this. So currently things are still quite bullish, but they aren't super bullish. So I would say that if we can break above this level, this $48,000 level, that is when things start to get super bullish as well. Um, simply because being above the 200 day moving average is always a good sign. And of course, that would be a good sign for Shiba Inu guys. So currently short term, here are the targets. Bitcoin basically, um, let me just add this back. So short term, all Bitcoin needs to do is hold the $45,000 area um, to keep bullish. There may or may not be a big move today or tomorrow based on the fact that we're ending this symmetrical triangle for Shiba Inu. Um, a break above this yellow line, a break below this green line would consist, would can be, would be considered a major move because it's breaking. I wouldn't say market structure, but it's breaking out of this pattern that we've been in since the 23rd of December. So this chart is the one that I'm going to be watching every single day until we break out of it because um, we've just been in it for so long. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys holding Shiba Inu? If I see Bitcoin break out ridiculously, okay, and Shiba Inu is like right here, then I'm going to be buying Shib because um, it just makes sense. And if Bitcoin goes to a support level and Shib is here, then I'm probably going to be buying as well just based on that, just based on this chart. Because um, as you guys can see, the last time we got yellow area, pump, yellow area, pump. So if we get to this yellow area again, I am expecting a pump. But if we are about to go down, I'll consider it, okay? I'm not just saying that this is concrete proof that we're going to pump if we go here. I'm just saying if 
you know, whatever the conditions are at, I'll consider it and I'll make a video. So, um, yeah, so for now, I think the market does actually look pretty good here, if, if I'm being honest. So, um, yeah, the next key resistance line that we need to break through is that $48,000 area. So that being said, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think this is an accurate chart representation? I'm glad I found this because um, once we break this line, it's, it's definitely going to lead to some kind of major pump. And the end of this is the 12th of May. So, um, yeah, definitely a, a while for this to break through. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys next.